Hey guys, welcome to Spec Transfer and to topic 3.8.2.1. Most of a cell's DNA is not translated from the AQA A level biology specification. As always, let's start with a look at our specification. We should know that totipotent cells can divide and produce any type of body cell. During development, totipotent cells translate only part of their DNA, resulting in cell specialization. Totipotent cells only occur for a limited time in early mammalian embryos. Then we will cover pluripotent cells, as well as multipotent and unipotent cells. Pluripotent stem cells can divide in unlimited numbers and can be used in treating human disorders. We should also know about the formation of unipotent cardiomyocytes. Finally, we should know about induced pluripotent stem cells, also abbreviated as iPS cells. So let's make a start. Stem cells have two key properties. They have the ability to divide and replicate, and potency, which is the ability to become specialised. Totipotent stem cells can divide and differentiate into any type of body cell. They include the cells of the placenta. They only occur for a very limited time in early mammalian embryos. During development, totipotent cells translate only part of their DNA, resulting in cell specialization. Pluripotent cells are descendants of totipotent cells and can differentiate into any type of body cell, except those that make up the placenta. Multipotent cells can differentiate into a limited number of types of body cell. And finally, unipotent cells can differentiate into only one type of cell. Note that both multipotent cells and unipotent cells are found in mature mammals. So, just to make the distinction between toti and pluripotent cells with the help of a diagram, in early mammalian embryos we have totipotent stem cells. These then develop into something looking like this. We have pluripotent stem cells, as well as cells making up the placenta. These pluripotent stem cells can differentiate into all types of body cell apart from those that make up the placenta. Next we need to know some of the uses of stem cells. Pluripotent stem cells can divide in unlimited numbers and can be used to treat human disorders. For example, they can be used to grow replacement tissues in a lab to replace damaged tissues. Unipotent cardiomyocytes, i.e. heart muscle cells, could develop into new heart tissues, and recent research has shown that cardiomyocytes do have some regenerative capabilities. Induced pluripotent stem cells, also known as iPS cells, are a type of pluripotent cell that are made by reprogramming adult somatic cells. They are made to express a series of transcription factors that are normally associated with pluripotent stem cells, meaning that genes are expressed that are normally associated with pluripotency. Advantages of using iPS cells include that you aren't harvesting embryonic stem cells, which avoids ethical issues associated with destroying embryos. Also, there is no risk of rejection by the patient, as the iPS cells are made using the patient's own cells. Finally, we need to consider some of the issues surrounding the use of stem cells. First of all, we have ethical issues surrounding the harvesting of embryonic stem cells, because an embryo has the ability to form a human. Also, stem cells may multiply out of control in the body, forming tumours. Great, that would be this part of the specification covered. We've covered totipotent cells and how they, during development, translate only part of their DNA, resulting in cell specialization. We have covered how totipotent cells occur only for a limited time in early mammalian embryos. We have covered pluripotent cells as well as multipotent and unipotent cells. We have covered how pluripotent stem cells can divide in unlimited numbers and can be used in treating human disorders. We have also covered unipotent cells, exemplified by the formation of cardiomyocytes. And finally, we have covered iPS cells. That would be it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment. Next time, we will be covering regulation of transcription and translation.